Hi colleagues, I hope you're doing um, you're doing fine as in your families as well. Uh, this is a tutorial that I have promised about two months ago uh, in early January uh, to uh, to do a tutorial for my best friend Sarah uh, who teaches graduate courses at San Marco State. And I also want to take this opportunity to share this tutorial with my colleagues at Santa Ana College, Margarita uh, de la Torre, Nayeli Strong. Uh, we all three teach in the Spanish English Interpreting Translation Certificate Program. And I just want to share this. Um, maybe uh, if you already use an iPad, if you're, um, it could also help you as a, as a, a quick way to use your whiteboard. I know on campus at Santa Ana College, I would just connect my Apple TV to my iPad and mirror my my screen and I would just take care of that that way and engage students and pass my iPad around and have them uh, select the answers in a study guide but now we're in a we're in different times so we're reinventing ourselves and um, so anyways I, I this is just um, how I use it and um, also I want to say thank you to Doris at uh, Cal State San Bernardino for the great input she's provided on ways that I can improve my videos and, and also to Liliana. I know we um, teaches at State at Crafton and at um, State San Bernardino uh, on, on the amazing job you're doing as well in, in, in shifting your classes to online. So um, to get started, this is what I do with the Screencast-O-Matic. I just um, downloaded the app. It's very simple. If you already have an account, it links it to your account. So I have the Screencast-O-Matic here on my home screen, and um, I have my Word document already open, so I suggest you either open your whiteboard or your um, document that you're going to be working with. And then I have my OneDrive from Rancho Santiago Community College District so that I can have easy access to my files. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, the Screencast-O-Matic account. I have a personal account because I do um, uh, facilitation groups for some organizations uh, as a volunteer here in the Inland Empire. So I have my own personal account and um, it, you would just hit the recording button to start recording. But here, um, I just want to show you something quick. Let's say you already recorded um, a quick message to your students and you have it in your iPad. You can just go here on import and it will open your videos. You select it and then once you select, it will import it here and from here you can transfer it to a Screencast-O-Matic. And um, once I hit uh, the recording button, I'm also going to show you the select. This is in case something here hasn't transferred and uh, uh, you want to select something and then you would tell it to uh, send it here anywhere to an email or in this case, um, I've already transferred everything to Screencast-O-Matic. Everything is on my desktop version. So you would, I already did the recording, so I'm just going to, when I edit, I'm just going to add this part at the beginning just to show you how I would do it. So you hit record, and then this will pop up, and then you have to make sure that you turn your microphone on so that you are able to speak while you're doing this. And um, then you would go um, start broadcast, and it counts just like on your desktop version. And you don't have to worry about this here because this is the this is you're gonna cut this is the part that you're gonna edit. So then you would go back to your home screen. You would open your document that you already have ready, and this is what I did in the other um the other video where I show you how I would um engage students in having them uh, say the. Uh, Spanish translations for certain medical terminology or, you know, in this case, maybe a study guide and then I'll call in some of the students in Zoom so that uh, during our Zoom live session so that they can um, provide the answers. Then once I'm done, I hit the button over here. And like again, like I said in the previous video, you would wait until you're um you're you're done and then pause and then hit this. So you have you have um, a space to trim. And then you would do stop and then screen recording complete tap to open screen cast matic app so then you would just tap and it i i i didn't tap right at the uh, the beginning so if if you tap on that message that uh that was on the ipad it would take you right over here so then um once you're doing that uh it says um screen recording so so here it is and then you would have the opportunity to listen to it if you hit the play and then once you want once you're okay with this in this case document that you already have ready 
And this is what I so do. this is what I just say. So let's say yes, I'm okay with it. So now it's there. And then once you say you're okay, it's going to start transferring it to your desktop version. And then I'll do a quick video just to show you where in my desktop version. And then from there, you could just combine or um, I usually don't have to trim very much when I do the study guys. And it transfer, transfers it very quickly because that was just a, a quick version. Um, it's It was only a, a few minutes. So now it's gonna be on my desktop success. You're recording ready for editing. So it's on my desktop version. So I hope this helps and um, I shoot me an email if you want me to go over um, how to do the screencast-o-matic recording. And have a, have a great rest of the week and stay safe.